Good to everybody, my name is Oscar and welcome to Subnautica Survival Season 3. Now this has been very, very long awaited at this point, probably months, uh, and I've been waiting to do it for a long time. I've just kind of been sidetracked by other things, and uh, it hasn't been one of my top priorities for videos on the channel. It's certainly coming now, and this is the new series, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to set a like goal of 100 likes uh, to get this series going. And uh, this should be great. Now, I have already recorded a video of this, and I pressed freedom, which was not a genius move. So I'm going to press survival this time, because that's what we're doing. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm excited. If you guys are excited as well, please leave a comment and a like. And uh, we'll get going on this series. Just sit back and enjoy. Attention. There's water in our life pod already, which is quite disconcerting, I'm not going to lie. Was there water on the Aurora? It seems to have sprung a leak. Oh. Ow. Oh. 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 And... Oh! Every time. Every damn time. You would have thought he would learn to shield his face by now, the amount of times this has happened to him. Right, here we go. Eliminating the fire problem. Don't, don't, don't. Bomb. Yeah, it really confused me last time because I started it and I put it on freedom. There was no survival counter. So I was like, oh, do I have to find the fish first? And I was like, no, because there's nutrient blocks. Come on. Extinguish the fire. And also don't want to burn myself. Because that wouldn't be a good start. I want to try and start on the most health I can because although this thing does generate medikits now, I really just. I'd rather keep away from all that. Oh, here we go. This is that uh, APDA thing. Greetings, survivor. Great Hi. Job. Not dying. Thanks. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The okay. interface visible now will organize your inventory. Display yep. currently available construction. I see that. Yep. And holds other valuable information. Good. Please take a moment. Well, you said please, so I have to, don't I, really? I'm not going to read all this, because it's just kind of normal stuff. I know what it says. We've read it before in our PDA videos. We've d I've got a lot of them. Uh, so if you're interested in them and you haven't read them, go and have a look. Uh, so what do we have in our storage? We have filtered water and we have some nutrient blocks. So I'm going to... I'm not particularly... Ah, I'm quite hungry. I'll eat one. They give you quite a lot of um, good stuff, so I might as well get it. So we do actually need to focus on actually fixing that welder there, so I'm going to see what it actually takes to get some, um, make a welder. So that takes magnesium, crushed fish powder, and titanium, and scanner would also be useful. So I'm going to get some mushrooms and copper, I believe is what it takes to make a battery. So that's all good. Mushrooms should be really reasonably easy to make. Um, yeah, we need the scanner so we can start scanning for blueprints so we can get a seam off on the go as quickly as possible, because that's going to really, really help later on. And uh, also... This is actually a really good starting place because we're right next to this massive coral tube. Now, if you watched um, my the very, very first couple of videos I did on Subnautica on this channel, um, it was I think it was episode one, season one, something like that, and I actually started near this massive green tube. And it, since then, it's been my favourite place to spawn because it's got tons of really good stuff in it, which is really helpful because it's it's uh, quite close to the surface, so you don't really have to worry about oxygen as much. And also, there's tons of materials inside it, like these um, these outcrops. There's loads of them. So it was really, really good early game. Uh, but luckily, we seem to be in quite a good area for all of that kind of stuff. So you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. Well, I do need to find some metal salvage, which is strange, because I haven't actually seen any yet, unless I've just completely gone past it. Ah, here's some. I think I need one. There's one. Oh, and if you hold down shift when you're doing the fabricator, you can keep the menu open. I'll show you now when I do it. Uh, so I'm, I'm holding shift now. It's keeping the menu open, so I can keep looking through it. Um, so I'm going to make another one of titanium, and I'm going to make some glass as well, because I want to make a uh, another tank, because that's one of the first things I always do, because I find it really annoying that you only have 45 seconds of oxygen. So we now have 75. Uh, and we can make a scanner, which is nice. So let's, let's get that going. Doing well so far, we haven't been hit. We're a little bit low on health, but that's okay. Um, so we want to get a survival knife next, I think is my next priority, or the welder. I'm going to go and get some... Uh, wait, do we make magnesium? We don't, do we? 
Oh, we do. Oh, that takes three salt deposits. Okay, I can do that. Uh, so we're also looking for some crash powder. So if I come across a cave, I'm just going to scan this as well. Do we have a battery in it? Does it come with one? Yep, seems like it. Ah, it's a sea glide fragment. That's really good. Oh, that's awesome. That's brand new. That feature. Oh, so that gives us information about it. Okay. So it now pops up in a little window on the side. Like, I saw a, a thing on um, the Trello page about them wanting to look like Doom when you find a new technology in that game. It pop Oh, that looks amazing. Yes, I like that. Um, I like that a lot. We are very close to the Aurora. That's kind of dangerous because I feel like the radiation is going to spread to here if we're not careful. So we really do need to try and get away from here as quickly as we can. Nice. Okay, so that will just give us medikit every so often. I'm not going to use it though because uh, we've got plenty of health. So there's no point in wasting it. Um, wait, so what were we doing? <laughs> My memory is shocking. Okay, magnesium. That's what we were doing. Magnesium. Okay. And now we just need crash powder and then we're all good. So I'm just going to make some more titanium. Okay, that's good. Right, we need to go and find some crash powder, which should be easy enough, but I haven't actually seen a cave yet. So we'll have to go and find one of them. Ah, I found a hole. Ah, crash. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Yeah, they seem to be, like, teleporting... Okay, well, thanks for that. Uh, do you have any crash meal in your crash? Oh, you do. No, I, oh, I used to be... Oh, Jesus! God, those are faster than they used to be. Right, well, at least I have a medikit. Okay, I swear they've been sped up massively. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? Right, okay, so we can now... Actually, I'm just going to get rid of that, because that just makes a very annoying noise. I think they should tone that down a bit, or make it less often, just an occasional bling, bling. There you go. Welder is done. So we should now be able to... Oh, that's already 40% welded. Okay. Stop looking at it and weld. See, when you go to a shop and you buy an axe, you don't just stare at it for a couple hours, do you? You use it on a tree or something. There you go. Restoring communications since 2029 or whatever it is. Yep, thanks for that. Nice and light in here now, and everything is okay. Waterborne bacteria levels high. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's an automated to bounce back. We've had that a lot of times. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, it's night. It's still night time. Right, okay, so what are we can make next? I should probably make a knife, which takes silicon rubber. Which takes creep vine clusters. Okay, actually, I know what we should do. We should get a sea glide. Ooh. A new message. This is Lafette in LifePod 17A. I've survived by impact, but there's something outside the hatch and it's trying to get in. Okay, so that gave us some coordinates. Uh, I don't know where. Ah, there it is. LifePod 17A. We'll make our way towards that eventually. Um, let's go to deployables and sea glide. So that takes copper wire, lubricant, and battery. Can we make a copper wire at this point in time? Actually, let's make some cooked food. Copper wire. We can do that. That's good. Um, what else? Battery. Battery might be doable. It is. Okay, so we just need the lubricant, which means we need to go and get... I don't know what it is for lubricant, because... Um... Oh, God, I have to pick it up, don't I? I forgot about that. You have to actually click to pick things up off the crafting table. It makes sense, yeah. Because you can't have things teleporting from one place to another. But then again, this is the future, so I don't see why they couldn't. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that one has some metal in its mouth, so maybe it will... Oh, that was very deep. Oh, okay, I feel like it's coming after me. Oh, God. God, that scared the hell out of me. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It's not what I wanted. I don't want to be in a fight with Caution. you, sir. 30 seconds of oxygen remain. Yeah, all right, thanks. Although, to be fair, it's good that you did warn me that, because I probably would have died otherwise. Anyway, thanks for that, Stalker. I'm now on 70% health, which is okay. It's not too bad. Oh, there you go. Cr lubricant. Hopefully we'll have enough. So, silicon rubber. We want that, because we want to make a knife. Damn it, I need... Uh, uh. Right, we're going back in then. I should have got more. Why did I not? Oh, they're massive, aren't they? I forgot about that. Right, let's put some stuff in our storage because I have way too much stuff on me. Let's just get a ton of them. As many as I can carry. It's better to have more Caution. than you need than not enough. Of oxygen remaining. Unless it's an illness, in which case it's probably not so good. Right, let's make it our way. Make it way. 
making our way back towards our life pod, swimming fast and I'm life pod bound. Da -da 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 Let's make our lubricant. Uh, might as well make another because I don't see. Actually, no, we will keep it because, uh, you know, I don't know why. <laughs> I might need it for something else. I don't know what I would need lubricant for. But uh, it might, might, might be something. Anyway, let's. Uh, that's disgusting. Let's not think about that. Sea Glide. It's done. Now, does this come with a battery? I would hope so, being as I made it. It seems like it. Sea Glide will increase your effective exploration rate. For your safety, place. Please pack supplies for long journeys and always stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Because we're probably going to go. Ooh. Automated stress signals from Aurora Life Life Pod 17B. Okay, so we have light we have 17A and B, and they're different places away from each other. Okay, that's fine. I I wish that thing would go down. Thank you. Right. Okay. So next, we probably want to focus on fins. Why do I not have them yet? Jesus. Okay, do I not have enough silicon rubber again? Oh, we do. Oh, thank God. Right, so we can just make fins. That's great. We want to be able to swim faster as well. Because if our thing runs out, then we will be able to use uh, the fins instead. So we need two lead for a radiation suit, which we don't need to focus on just yet. So that's actually all right. And you can make firing extinguishers which I didn't know. Right, well, okay, so the next thing we probably want to focus on is the Habitat Builder, which takes a computer chip and a battery. I think we might actually be able to make the battery if we get the stuff out of our storage. That takes copper and an acid mushroom. Maybe not, actually. We have the acid mushrooms for it, but we don't have the copper. That's okay, though. And then we needed a computer chip, so we need to check what the computer chip takes, which is silver ore, which isn't too hard to get, and table coral sample, which is really easy to get, so I'll just get that quickly. Where are you? Table coral. Table coral is the thing that the uh, table coral is the bits, the like plates that come off the ah these, and you just have to chop them with your knife, and then you can take them. Do you get one? Ah, you only get one per one as well now, because last a uh, couple. Well, it might be recent that they updated this, but you recently could only get, you could get like six from one because they split up into loads of different pieces. Um, so that's good. And they only take up one piece each, which is always nice. Okay, so I'm going to leave this first episode here, guys. I, uh, we may not have got a lot done, but we have got the basic startings for our survival series. Um, so this will help us just get ready. So that's just the basics out of the way, pretty much. Um, that's all you need to worry about right at the beginning. Uh, just get make sure you have a solid supply of food and stuff, which we know we do have because we're started in the safe shallows. But eventually we will certainly head out to these life pods, see if they have anything valuable. For some reason this looks much closer than that one, even though it's not, because that one looks like it's really far over there. This one doesn't. Interesting. And I also don't know where the mountain island is from here. I think it's over there, but we won't be heading there yet. We will also be heading over there for the uh, floating island relatively soon, but not yet. Because uh, there's no life on it, which means there's no need to go there, really, other than to uh, amuse yourself. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Uh, if you do enjoy the idea of a new survival series, please give it a like. If you're feeling really generous, subscribe to come and crunch you today. But until next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Tarami, friends.